Hey there, friends. Thanks for checking in. The ammo shortage is here, and it will remain here for the foreseeable future. I spoke with somebody who makes a living reloading, and he told me about two months ago that we're looking at 2021 before things even begin to look like normal supplies. And if the election doesn't go the right way, it will only be worse. So that means that the shortage is not going away, and we have to figure out ways to get our ammo. Now, I have more ammo now than I have in many years. Like I, I am sitting on a good supply of ammo, and that's because I aggressively went out after it. My dad told me, he said, son, if you want to do anything in life, you have to be persistent and you have to be aggressive. And I've done that. And it certainly worked with the shortage of ammo. Now, one of the things that many people are doing is they're waking up in the morning and they're scouring through the internet. You know, they're going to their favorite sites and you're wasting your time when you do that because everything is outrageously priced. For example, Cheaper Than Dirt has Wolf Military Classic $40 a box, 9mm. All right, during normal times, this is around $9 to $10 a box. I bought 650 rounds for $15 a box. And the guy I bought it from said, I have a pallet. And so I've got more than what I actually need. And he was selling for $15 a box. Had I known he had a pallet, I would have bought more. But I did what I did, and I've been shooting that lately. Just yesterday, I went to the range. I shot over 400 rounds, and I wasn't too concerned about preserving my ammo and that's because i'm stocked up pretty well above and beyond my safety supply my just in case supply i'm not here to brag i just want to tell you my plan and this is what it is buy locally and i'm not talking about going to your gun store all right being aggressive and being persistent means talking to certain people be willing to pay a little bit more and be willing to barter you know for example two days ago i picked up 500 rounds of Spear Lawman 45 ACP, 380 ACP, and 32 ACP. And the guy gave me that ammo case. All right, all of that was under $300. That's not a great difference from normal times. All right, now one thing's a fact is that when the reloaders cannot get their supplies, when you can't get primers, when you can't get powder, that's when you know you're in trouble and that's the situation we're sitting in right now many reloaders are saying I, I can't find primers i can't find powder that's when you know <laughs> things are tight what i do is i check the local forums i get myself out there i figure out what i want to trade i may have a, a whole bunch of shotgun ammo somebody's looking for that a while back somebody told me that everything's for sale all right this when people say that's not for sale no 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 everything's for sale it's what the buyer is willing to pay for it and what the seller is willing to accept think about it like a vehicle that you want when you want a new vehicle you're not afraid to put yourself out there talk to people drive over an hour to go look at a vehicle because that may be the perfect one that 45 and 380 and 32 that i just showed you i drove an hour away to get it but now now i have it and i'm happy i have it because i don't have to worry about you know going to the range and, and shooting my ammo. This is not going away. Aggressiveness and persistiveness is something that we really need to do because I'm telling you, there's somebody in your area that has ammo. It is sitting in a closet somewhere and they either have no plans of shooting it or they're looking to sell it. You have to go find them. I guarantee somebody in your area has at least a small supply of ammo that they're willing to deal but the key is going out and finding that person and you market yourself and you, you you get on the forums and you talk to people you even go to gun stores talk to hey i'm looking to trade this you know anybody and you'll be shocked at what comes back don't waste your time on the internet you know cheaper than dirt ammunition depot aim surplus um i can go on and on target sports they are outrageously priced they're looking to find the person who has nothing. And if that's not you, don't even bother with them. Look around locally, talk to people, market yourself, and you'll be shocked at what comes back and how much you could actually get. You're going to pay a little bit more. You know, I would be careful bartering too much. You know, trying to lowball, they're just going to move on. It's almost like when you put a ridiculous offer on a house that is attractive and other people are looking at, you know you're not going to get it. Same concept applies here. 
go out there and and you know pay a little more but get what you need stay off the websites those are not advantageous for regular shooters so that's my advice that's what i've been doing and i'm actually doing quite well sitting on more ammo than i typically have if you like videos like this please subscribe and share i always appreciate the thumbs up button thanks for watching and you guys be safe